I don't want to watch this. What makes you think I want to watch this? I couldn't sit all the way through the first movie about pony-human hybrids. What makes you think I can sit through this one? Yeah. Greetings to the world of the internet, I am the great Matthew Squeak, and I had to watch Rainbow Rocks! When people first heard of the new My Little Pony series, you could practically hear the whole world roll their eyes at it. But then, it aired. And to our great shock, not only was it not a pile of little girl pampering garbage, but actually rather well made. It had magic, adventure, and very likable characters. And while its main audience still obviously aimed at little girls, the show did not alienate the rest of the world. So naturally, it got quite the following. But with a large fan base comes fan art, with some depicting the world's new favorite pony girls as humans. And did anyone actually want that to happen? It's like one of those dares you tell your friends. I dare you to lay on those train tracks while I smooth my mustache villainously. Did you actually want them to lay on those train tracks? No! And if they do it, you'll slap them for being stupid! That's what this movie is! Did we think humanized Fluttershy is adorable? Yes. Did we want a movie based off of that? No! Because that's how we got Equestria Girls! And this is its sequel! Rainbow Rocks! The movie starts in a diner, because every teenage drama needs a diner, but something doesn't seem quite right. The creepy singers are our main villains of the story, and they feed off of green mist generated by turmoil and arguments. The effort, Adagio. I'm tired of fast food. I need a meal. The energy in this world isn't the same as in Equestria. We can only gain so much power here. Yes, because Equestria has so much more turmoil than the human world. I'll tell you one thing. Being stuck here with you two isn't making this world any more bearable. Have you seen the show? The human world should be an all-you-can-eat buffet. So there's this huge explosion that only they were able to see, apparently. Because no one else seems to notice it. Or mention it. At all. And we're going to use it to make everyone in this pathetic little world adore us. Adore you? That's their end game, my loyal subjects. That's what the villains want. For you to adore them. Cue the opening. We used to fight with each other. That was before we discovered. The song is fair. Being able to sing is a requirement for being a character on the My Little Pony show, after all. And we're back in the school, where ex-villain of the last movie, Sunset Simmer, or whatever it was, having difficulty sitting in. Help? Uh, no thanks. We're good. Oh, okay. You should try asking before grabbing things. She joins the humanized ponies. Quite the eye-catching advertisement, if I do say so myself. But it doesn't say anything. It doesn't work as an advertisement. It doesn't say anything. Oh, I know. This is Rainbow Rocks. I shouldn't nitpick at the littlest things or we'll be here all day. Fluttershot, you've got a little something, uh... Did I get it? Oh, you are so adorable, no matter what. <clears throat> you ought to forget I said that. Principal Celestia comes in and reveals. I just wanted to tell you all how pleased I am that so many of you are going to participate in the first ever Canterlot High School Musical Showcase. No, 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 no! Don't tell me this is High School Musical, but with pony human hybrids, they're not even trying to be subtle about being a cut and paste high school drama, and they picked High School Musical as their inspiration. That's it, we're done, I'm through. I'm not reviewing this anymore. So, as it turns out, stopping a review in the middle can cause violent uprisings. Silence! The review will go on. So keep working on those signs and posters. 
I think it's going to be one of the most exciting events we've had at CHS since the fall formal. Did you miss the whole Shimmer tried to take over the school last time thing? Oh, darling, you have us, and we've forgiven you for your past <clears throat> boo boos. That was not a boo boo. That was trying to take over the school. Stop treating the event like she simply slapped somebody in a fit of rage. That's behind us now. See how we've made a brand new start, and the future's looking up. Wait, is this the same song? It's a different verse, but... Ah! You couldn't have waited at all? You had to bring back the freaky hybrids? Ooh, I've got to look into some new accessories. Something that looks good in a longer ponytail. Woo! Maybe some clip-on earrings for when I get those adorable pony ears. They're not adorable! And there's no point to it. There was no point why this happened in the first place other than to try and freak us out with these toys because they needed to compete with the Monster High toys. Why are these things scarier than the toys that are supposed to be scary? This guy pops into the plot and pops back out. This is a character that had no purpose to exist in the first Equestria Girls. He was only there because all the other high school dramas have a boy to crush on and believe it or not, he has even less of a point to exist in this one. At least he did something in the first one. Here, I could easily scribble out every single scene he was in, and the movie would not change one bit. More boring teenage drama boredom. Shimmer meets the villains we met at the beginning. Oh yes, we really sense there's something magical about this place. You could try being a little more subtle. A musical showcase? A good villain can entice people into believing that they are on your side. This girl might as well walk around with a neon sign over her head. You are! You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. <laughs> I'm surrounded by idiots. Always do. Stir up some trouble and then feed off the negative energy. Some plan, Adagio. It won't be the same as the times before. There is equestrian magic here. Their negative energy will give us the power we need to get this entire world to do our bidding. That line right there. I'm going to hold on to it. I have a feeling that I'm going to be needing it later. So just like High School Musical, they have a musical number that comes from nowhere that nobody seems to question. Their mystical song causes everyone to bicker and they absorb some more of that green mist stuff. Didn't think I'd get to use this so soon, but remember... There is equestrian magic here. Their negative energy will give us the power we need to get this entire world to do our bidding. Yes, they need equestrian magic to take over the world, because that's their plan now. But have no trouble taking over the entire student body without equestrian magic. So, unlike the last movie, where Twilight just played along with the whole needing to win the ball thing, they immediately report the suspicious behavior to the principal. Case ...even sang a little song to Vice Principal Luna and I. They did? Yes. And we think having a battle of the bands instead is a marvelous idea. We get to do it again! There is equestrian magic here. Their negative energy will give us the power we need to get this entire world to do our bidding. Yet they somehow steal the minds of the faculty without that magic. They don't need it. Take over the mind of a TV producer and spread your song throughout the world. Sing a song to the president and live a good life. The villains don't need any magic at all. So, needing to get the message out to the ponies, Shimmer conveniently has a book that can send messages through the dimensions. It used to be that if I wrote something here, it would appear in the pages of a book back in Princess Celestia's library. I'm just surprised it's still out of space, given all the content she's probably already written into it. You threw me into another world! Curse you! Damn you! I'll get even when I get out of this place! The book on the other end, as it turns out, gets... shipped to Twilight's new castle. Wouldn't this be a book Celestia would keep in their personal collection? And be more logical that she sends the book to Twilight after getting the message? 
Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot I was watching Rainbow Rocks. The ponies distracted me. On the left. Even as one that's glowing and vibrating? Can you get the phone, please? We learn about the villain girls on the other world. Most of it we already figured out. Not the sirens! Um, remember that magic portal thing? That portal that only opens every thousand years or whatever it was? It was the whole point that time was of the essence in the first one? Well, Twilight accomplishes and makes the portal... That'll make the portal open up so that whenever she wants to, she can go from here to there. We get the idea. Because screw it, we need to get the band back together. We're putting the band back together. Don't suppose we could join you this time around? Better not. It could make things pretty confusing if Canterlot High all of a sudden had two of all of you. That might be more advantageous. But it would be more confusing for the audience, as the animators would have probably been too lazy to give everyone a second outfit to tell them apart. Oh, right. No matter the world she's in, Pinkie Pie makes logic and physics dissolve right before your eyes. Some things are scientifically impossible. And then there's Loogie. Twilight is back to being a human. Spike is back to being a dog. Same complaint as the first one. He's your assistant, not your pet. The girls meet at the diner too. We have so much catching up to do. For starters, a certain blue-haired guitar player was just asking about you. Have you already forgotten about the whole sirens taking over the school thing? Perhaps you could give us just the slightest bit of gossip from your world? She's got an official title now! I'm all for you wanting to catch up with the weird renditions of your friends and all, but isn't something more crucial going on? Yeah, so that isn't exactly the only strange thing that's happened since you left. Stop showing that! Its magic must have remained here at Canterlot High. Now that we're all back together, we can use that magic on the sirens. Just like when we were able to use it on Sunset Shimmer when she turned into that horrifyingly awful winged monster! No offense. None taken. How is that not offensive? You could have left out the whole monster bit. So they go to the school gathering to face off against the... Oh, th sorry. Someone seems to have added in a pointless scene right there. Mm, let's see, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. The girls face off against the sirens. All right, girls. Let's do this. Friendship is magic! I don't understand. We're all together again. Why isn't this working? Everyone knows what's wrong, and I mean people that have never seen a single episode before! You have to sing, you morons! They retreat and have their adir moment. The siren's magic comes from their music, so maybe you have to use the same kind of magic to defeat them! Uh-huh. And in order to free everyone who's been exposed to the siren spell, we'll need them all to hear it. Because the plot is from every other high school drama, and we need them to compete in the... What is it this time? The Battle of the Bands. We can't just have them start singing in front of the sirens and blast them with power. <laughs> so, what do you want to play? Triangle? Sousaphone? There a man? Of course she's the master of that. So magical. I'll just sing. Like... As in lead singer, cause that's usually my gig. This being my band and all, it's our band. You are trying to save the world. You are not actually trying to win the battle of the bands. I do not think you are grasping at what is at stake. Time to move on to typical high school trope number 27, slumber party. <laughs> Good. Great. Thanks for letting me use your notebook, Fluttershy. 
I really like the song you wrote for the rain booms. And that is totally not going to be the song they sing at the climax. Twilight puts the book in the drawer so she can sneak back and get it later. Strange, because normally she'd never put it down. She has a moment with the ex-villain. Ah! Ah! Boulder was hungry. Go away. Sure. I still can't get over the fact that she's related to Pinkie Pie. That had no purpose to exist. Twilight wants to ask Shimmer for help, but decides it's better to do it alone because that works so well in the Crystal Empire. Not a class bike. Uh. <laughs> the morning comes as... Listen, we got a message for you. We're not all alike. Stop singing! Is this supposed to be funny? If it is, I don't get it. We know she can sing. We have seen her sing multiple times. Including in the first Equestria Girls. And this is the only time she can't sing. There's no reason for this. And it's resolved as mysteriously as it appears. Or perhaps we could take a short break. And try on some of the wardrobe choices I put together. We're trying to save our school here. And up with the costumes. Is Applejack the only one that realizes that your school is in danger here? Everyone else is so distracted by their quirks, they're forgetting what is going on. We have seen Rarity sacrifice her sense of fashion for the greater good. We've seen Rainbow give up the spotlight because it was the right thing to do. These girls practically admit they throw the world under the bus in the name of their quirks. You have failed to capture what made these characters likable in the first place. We cut to the sirens. You feel that, girls? Our true power is being restored. <laughs> there is equestrian magic here. Their negative energy will give us the power we need to get this entire world to do our bidding. It's still the same problem. They have no problem gaining power without magic. <laughs> Please stop. Oh, Stop. Yeah. Snips and sells in the house, yo. Stop. They call me MC Snips, and it ain't no lie. My favorite We get the joke. Like They're not good. And Gigi says he snails. Why is I this like stuff well, going on? When I go to Please do not drop the microphones. Oh, thank goodness. Our heroes get on the stage for their turn. Twilight can sing again for no reason, and... is cheating and you will die for this. I Do the judges not see this? Do they not see this? Is someone not going to call foul? They start bickering again because everyone is stepping on each other's toes. In my frets. It was pretty distracting. Oh, says the girl who was running from a light the whole time. A light! The world is at stake here. Shape up. You all find a place to practice where the sirens can't hear you? I'll keep an eye on things around here. No, 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 no! Cut to something! Cut to something! <laughs> well, I suppose cutting to nothing is better than that. It moves into a musical montage of the band squaring off one-on-one. -on -one. Is that how a battle of the bands work? There are rounds where you square off against each other? That would be a long battle of the bands. Finally, it is our hero's turn. I thought lights were supposed to be scary. But Rainbow gets a little too carried away, and Shimmer does something a little drastic. What was that? You were showing them your magic. I, I didn't know what else to do. Uh, close the curtains, unplug her amp, give us a chance to deal with the situation? What are you upset about? The whole point was not to tip your hand to the enemy. Do you people remember the sirens? At what point did you forget that- WE'RE TRYING TO TAKE OVER THE WORLD! Stop acting like you're trying to one-up the school bully. The world is at stake here. In a fit of jealous rage, knocked out Rainbow Dash mid-guitar solo. It wasn't a fit of jealous rage! You're not gonna defend her? Screw you guys! You claim to be all friendship and junk? Yeah, it's apparently all an act. So next, 
The sirens go in and twist the minds of the judges so that the Rainbooms, instead of Trixie, get to go head to head against the villains. Why do they do this? See you at tonight's big show, Rainbooms. We are really looking forward to it. I have no idea, because they immediately entice Trixie to get them locked in the basement so that they are disqualified, and Trixie gets to go head to head against the sirens. If you did not want them to go against you, why did you have them win? They were already going to lose. This is unnecessary and pointless. We see stigmas of Trixie's boring song, and the ladies continue to bicker. It might have been your idea to start a band, but it's not just your band, Rainbow Dash. I'm the one who writes all the songs. I write songs, you just never let us play any of them. I had the most perfect outfits for us to wear. Again with the costumes. No one cares what we're wearing. No one cares about any of this. You are supposed to be saving the world. I have more confidence at this point that Trixie will find a way to save the world than you clowns. The sirens absorb the magical energy. Shimmer talks some sense into everyone. And just like that, everyone are friends again. But how will they escape? Oh yeah, Spike was in this. I literally forgot you existed. It took so long. I had to find somebody who wasn't under the siren spell to help me get you out. And didn't question the fact that the dog is talking. Which version of the counter spell are we going to play? I don't think it matters what song we play, as long as we play it together, as friends. And that's why she couldn't make the spell work before? Because they weren't singing together? What else did you expect from this? They also decide to dress up and use Fluttershy's song that they totally weren't going to use before. Okay, this character is awesome. Not a single line of dialogue, but she is awesome. Now this is a... Ah, not again! And it quickly turns into an interesting magic battle. It's fairly well done, given the rest of the movie. But the music doesn't seem to be quite enough. Sunset Shimmer, we need you! Are the sirens just going to sit there and wait for you to counterattack? Get the move on! No, I do not need a close-up of that! Golden Snitch. That last magical blast fried the necklaces. We will be adored. And they cannot sing to save their lives without them. That is legitimately funny. Also, why wasn't that plan A? Shimmer noticed these things straight off the bat, and they've seen them absorbing stuff with them. Why didn't we just get Applejack and Rainbow to tackle these three and smash these things straight off the bat? Was that too violent of a solution? I think the world would've been fine with that. We have had giant magic battles of creatures trying to obliterate each other. I think that the tackle is not going too far. Once his face comes in to resolve his plot of nothingness, Shimmer once again opts to remain in the human realm I also play guitar. And it wraps up with... Hope you don't mind if I write to you for advice when I need it. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer. Why are you writing a message when the portal is literally right outside your school? Just pop through and ask her advice in person. This, whatever you call this thing, is not good. They've got the same voice actors, and they look remotely like the world's favorite ponies, but they're grinded down to their quirks and seem more interested in playing a band than actually saving the world. I think the world takes precedence. The story is... Okay, I'll say it. It's not as bad as Equestria Girls. There. Yeah. But it's still not good. While the first one was pretty much like the same as every other high school drama, this one tries to have a little more magic and less tropes. However, the villain's plan is unnecessary. They could have taken over the world just as easily as the heroes could have beaten them. The movie is colorful, their flash designs are pretty, but why are they still insistent on doing this? Yeah, 
Was there such a high demand for pony human hybrids that this had to come back? If you'll somehow survive the Equestria girls and are curious about this movie, you'll probably be fine. But if you're like me and prefer it back when ponies were ponies and humans were humans, stay away from this movie. I am the Great Matthew Squeak, and wait, what is that? No doubt about it, Spike. There's definitely something strange going on at that school. No, 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 not anything. But